Many people think that dangerous aborigines must necessarily be painted and mutilated, but this is not always true. Many tribes people look like quite ordinary people, but it's not recommended to visit these people because some of them meet strangers with clubs and some of them shower arrows on strangers. This is Infinity, and today I'll show you the most dangerous tribes on the planet and tell you what they're capable of. Corubo. Amazonia is considered a very dangerous place. Here you can find large crocodiles, giant anacondas, and toothy piranhas. And if you manage to escape from dangerous animals, you may come across even more dangerous aborigines. The Corubo people are one of them. These tribes people live in Brazil, on the border with Peru. Scientists learned about this tribe only in 1996 and almost immediately realized that it's better not to mess with these natives. The Corubo is considered one of the most dangerous tribes in South America and in the world as a whole. To understand why, you only need to know what these natives are called by Brazilians, and they call them people with clubs. The Corubo tribes people practically never part with the Borduna, or battle clubs, which they use in the skirmishes against their enemies. Being an aggressive and warlike people, the natives of the tribe do not hesitate to get rid of any stranger who they don't like. In general, the Karubo can be called the tribal analog of the legendary Sparta. The weak and sick are disposed of without the slightest hesitation. In the ranks of the tribe must be only the strongest warriors, not surprisingly, because the Karubo tribes people often raid neighboring tribes. The Karubo women also take part in these battles. Needless to say, these warlike and tough natives regularly win the battles. Lecheros Let's stay in Brazil a bit longer because here lives another warlike people, the Flecheros tribe. The name of this tribe can be translated as archers, not surprisingly because the bow is their favorite and most important weapon, which they don't mind to use at any opportunity. The natives themselves were first found about 15 years ago, and the first photos of the tribe's people were made by anthropologists from a biplane. When the biplane first flew over the tribe's people, they tried to shower arrows on it. There's logic in this behavior because the tribe's people might simply have been frightened by an iron bird they'd never seen before, or they were simply afraid of an invasion by anthropology. Six years before the tribe was discovered, journalist Scott Wallace and human rights activist Sidney Pozuelo had attempted to explore the jungles of Brazil to find unknown tribes there. However, they curtailed the expedition when they stumbled upon a newly plucked tree sapling, which they considered to be a warning sign of the local natives. Macho Piro Brazil is not alone in being home to fierce tribes. In neighboring Peru, there are many angry natives too, but the Macho Piro tribe stands out the most. It's an isolated, non-contact tribe whose members live in solidarity and solitude in the jungles of Peru. This tribe first became known only in 2012. Spanish archaeologists discovered the natives and took pictures of them from a great distance. Over several years, scientists were able to study the tribe a little and established that the Macho Piro is one of the most dangerous tribes in South America and in the world as a whole. The tribe's people live in complete isolation, refuse to make contact with anyone, and are insanely aggressive toward anyone who they think is a threat to them. The natives shoot at passing boats with tourists and fire warning shots in the direction of Manu National Park. A representative of another tribe tried to make contact with the Macho Piro people, but he couldn't survive the ensuing massacre. The reason for this behavior is explained by scientists. Anthropologists think that the aggression of the Machu Piro people is due to the fear of the outside world. Oil and gas companies and illegal loggers operate in the region, force the Machu Piro people to look for new places to live, and they don't like that at all. It may seem to some that the Machu Piro is the most dangerous tribe on the planet, but believe me, this tribe isn't even close to some really crazy aborigines. Keep watching and very soon you'll learn about the most dangerous tribe on the planet whose aborigines hate strangers very much. Also, you'll see the Ecuadorian tribes people who don't let anyone near them and learn about an isolated tribe to which it takes many days to get. Let's move on. Sentinelese Scientists are very lucky if they manage to get to the tribes people to study the peculiarities of their everyday life, but it doesn't always work out. Some tribes live so isolated and remote that they're almost impossible to find, and some of them hate any outsiders. The Sentinelese are among the latter. These tribes people who live on the North Sentinel Island in the Bay of Bengal, which is near India, are famous for their incredible aggression toward any strangers. The Sentinelese are unwilling to make any contact with the outside world. 
They've lived in complete isolation for over 60,000 years, do not enjoy the benefits of civilization, and have long ago turned the North Sentinel Islands into their property and their home. What would you do if some stranger started breaking into your house? Probably you'd try to chase them away by force or call the police, right? Well, the Sentinelese in this respect are much tougher and aggressive. They fire a hail of arrows at anyone who sets foot on their soil. It's nearly impossible to leave the island alive. Even flying over the North Sentinel is dangerous. Throughout history, only a few scientists and missionaries have been able to make an expedition to the island, learn a little about the natives, and return home. The Sentinelese are such a fierce people that the Indian government has recently forbidden any landings on the North Sentinel. Moreover, boats patrolling the waters of the island around the clock. Not surprisingly, this particular tribe is considered the most dangerous and fierce on the entire planet. Jarawas The closest neighbor of the Sentinelese in terms of development is the Jarawas, the indigenous people of the Andaman Islands in India. They live in parts of South Andaman and Middle Andaman Islands. According to experts, in 55,000 years of complete isolation from the outside world, their way of life hasn't changed much. The Jarawas people catch fish, pick fruits and roots, gather honey, and hunt wild pigs and turtles. In all, they have more than 150 plant species and about 350 animal species in their diet. Until recently, the Aborigines were extremely aggressive and dangerous. They categorically refused to communicate with strangers and, like the Sentinelese, greeted them with arrows. However, in the late 1970s, a road was built through their remote settlements connecting them to the island administration. As a result, the Jarawas people began to make contact with the locals. Tourists give them food and various trinkets for the chance to watch their dances. Although such contacts have become safer, a certain risk remains. At the same time, the Aborigines themselves suffer from the contacts because they are not immune to certain diseases. For example, from 1999 to 2006, almost half of the Jarawas people died from a measles epidemic. Porani In 1955, five evangelists from the United States went deep into the Amazon rainforest to try to spread Christianity among the Horani tribe. These natives who live in Ecuador had never been in contact with the outside world before. In September 1955, missionaries began dropping gifts for the Horani from airplanes to blandish the natives. Nevertheless, the tribe's people were not happy about the gifts from the uninvited guests. This did not alert the evangelists, and in early 1956, they decided to get to know the Horani better. They camped a few kilometers from the tribe. Unfortunately, at the time, they didn't know that the Horani were one of the most dangerous and warlike tribes in the entire world. No one returned home from the expedition. The Horani are very aggressive and fierce. They fiercely defend their territory and fight anyone who tries to enter their lands, including members of other tribes. As in many other tribes, they distinguish between members and relatives of the tribe and others unrelated to them. The Horani people have no problem finishing off anyone who gets too close to their territory. Both explorers and rubber plantation workers have become victims of the Aborigines. Yaifo The Yaifo tribe lives in remote areas of Papua New Guinea. To get to the tribe, you have to go for a long time through the dense jungle, because there's no civilization in that area at all. People learned about the Yaifo tribe a few years ago, when a British explorer, Benedict Allen, decided to go on an expedition to the Aborigines. Benedict had already met the Yaifo people 30 years before and had even been accepted into their ranks. As Benedict recalls, the tribe itself could be described as brutal rather than dangerous. That's all, guys. Would you like to go on an expedition to see the Aborigines of these tribes by yourself? Share your answers in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.